What's up everybody? Welcome to Paint Boss. Thank you guys for clicking on our channel. Make sure you like and subscribe. Today is one of my favorites and that's taking a raw door and we're going to do it my favorite. Tricorn black with an eggshell water base alkyd. This is one of my favorite things to do. So you can see all the Bondo Jose's already put on. He shot primer on this door. You can see how they come from the factory. A lot of wood grain. I mean, the doors nowadays aren't what they used to be. But uh, you can see we used a water-based exterior wood primer on this. It's set up, and you can see everything that everything that Jose has done to it is all this bondo. So we shot primer, we sanded everything, and then we came through and we bondoed everything. And now that's been sanded. It's been dusted. And today we're going to use our little handheld. This is our Graco handheld, perfect for little front doors. I, I'm not sponsored. I don't know why. I probably do more commercials for them than they actually pay for. But uh, yep, still no sponsorships out there. So today we are using a, one of my favorites, and that's the Dun Edwards water-based urethane alkyd. This stuff lays down really flat. It's really durable, and it's in my favorite black. So. All right, now there's two ways to do these doors. If this wasn't prime, we could load this door up like crazy, um, do one flood coat since it's laying down flat. But in this case, there is some problems with these paint grade doors having delamination problems if you put on too thick of a mill of paint. So we learned our lesson. We're gonna do two light coats because of all these style profiles. There's really no way. It's kind of like the video I shot with Jose. When you have this on a garage door too, there's no way to take a white style like that and a molding like that and get it to cover with one coat. All righty? So what we're gonna do is, remember, we're gonna do this in one pass. We're gonna do one light coat. And then that's gonna dry in about 20, 30 minutes. We're gonna give it a quick sand. And then we're gonna do our nice, pretty money shot. Okay, so this one we're just trying to get all those edges with a little bit of black on it, all right? Okay, what you'll notice is I'm going all the way to the end of the door. I never like starting and stopping. Uh, pulling my finger off the trigger is gonna mean it's gonna spit. That's with anything. So because this is a light coat, I'm gonna go all the way and do my edge, and then I'm gonna come around and do it the other way as well. Okay, so doing that way is a lot less risky than taking my finger off the trigger and killing it in the door. So I have my overspray spots, but at least they're even. So now when I come by to do my tack coat, I can make it all even out. If I were to just go here and pull off the trigger, you're gonna get a lot of spit there. So take it from me, you don't wanna do that. Always try to start and stop your spray, no matter what you're spraying, Always try to start and stop your spray tip when it's off of whatever you're shooting. It just makes it a nicer finish. Okay, so you notice how I did the start and stop on the door. Now we're getting a pretty nice even coat. too heavy, but I'm not going too heavy on purpose, because Jose's going to come around with the camera and he's going to show you, we will have some flashing, because it's such a dark color, when you come into the glare, it's the, kind of the reason we put this door here, if you come over this way, Jose, you can see a little bit 
of our white marks. Now you can see that because the paint's wet. And again, we're not trying to do a flood coat. Imagine how good this is gonna look with its final coat on it. So this is kind of step one. Take it from us, you don't wanna to try to cover this thing in one coat, you'll never be able to. So you kind of do a light one. Now we're gonna actually flip this door over, do the other side of it, so you can keep going. You're not wasting time, but this is gonna be a much better finish because it's gonna be outside the house. You've gotta have two coats on it. And remember, for all you guys just started, there is six sides to a door. In order to get a warranty from the door company, if that door ever bows, the first thing that rep is gonna do is he's gonna take a picture of the top of that door and he's gonna see if it's raw wood under there or if it's painted. So remember, you got one, two, three, four, five, six edges of the door in order to paint a door complete. Alrighty, so that's part one. We're gonna flip this door over and we'll see you in a second. Okay guys, welcome back. So as you can see, this is kind of our door series. This is now the first coat. Since we did that really light tacky coat, you can see that one's got uh, the final on it. But this one right here that we're working on, the reason why we shot it kind of light was because we're trying to do this whole job in a day. And if you shoot it a little light, you don't have to wait as long. So you can see this is already dry to the touch. We gave it a little bit of a scuff sand, and now we can do our nice Platinum Futures flood coat on this thing. So now we're gonna do the pretty coat. Now what this does is there's already been a good coat of paint that's already bonded to our primed wood, and now we can load it up because now our tinted urethane is sitting on top of the primer, and we're not gonna have any delamination problems with this door because we're doing multiple coats. So now we're gonna do the pretty heavy one. And remember, something I wanted to remind you guys when you're doing door packs. The reason why I do these edges so heavy on the first is because when I'm shooting on the second, I'm only gonna hit this angle like this with my spray gun. I'm not gonna shoot it like this because if I do that, my overspray is gonna waft on the other side of this door. So a little thing to remember when you guys are doing this. On, this, on the first coat, you do it nice and heavy on the edge. The second coat, I'm gonna stay at this angle, so when I shoot this edge, my overspray goes to the floor and not on the back side of the door. That'll keep both sides of the door nice and smooth. All right, let's get going on this bad boy. So again, I'm gonna do my edges all first, same way I did the first. Okay, so that's the way you want to track. You want to track your spray. Remember, you're starting and stopping in your paper or on the other side of the door because you don't want any spits to happen. So now we have all of our style profiles done, right? Now we can do the flood coat. You always want to make sure you get all these profiles first. Alrighty? So I can go up and down, and you can see just from going both directions on that door, you can see that that style is completely coated because I went this way, that way, and up and down. So I'm coating all of those. Now it's just a nice flood coat for the final, and away we go. So I'm gonna do my edges first because I don't wanna leave an overspray mark on the door. So I'm gonna start with this angle. Now I'll come in and start laying it on. Okay, 
Okay, so let me get this top rail. That's kind of just a little heads up how we do these black doors. We can all feel good about all these edges being done. We're gonna do a quick walk to make sure it's laying out okay. But you can see all of those rails. You can see all these rails are nicely coated. Remember, that was white probably two hours ago. So yes, in the video, might look like it's got a little bit of orange peel on it, but that's just because it's wet. It's gonna be laying down flat, so we load it. The paint is gonna self-level. It's gonna give us a nice, smooth finish. All right? So thanks again for joining us on Paint Boss. I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and uh, let us know if you guys wanna cover, if you want us to cover anything else on our videos. All right? So we'll call this Black Door Tuesday, and that's how we do it. All right? Thanks so much, everybody. We appreciate you guys supporting our channel. We're growing, and thank you. Tell your friends about us. Thank you. Have a good day.